Tech Door. Gadget. Gadget! What a nice day, Penny. Makes you glad to be bionic. Good job on capturing Dr. Claw, Uncle Gadget. The mayor says it's safe now for tourists to come back to Metro City. All thanks to you. Look, you made the front page of the Metro City News. Huh? That guy looks familiar. <laughs> Oh my gosh! The three tons of tenors are playing at the Metro City Amphitheater! One night only! Sold out! Oh, those guys are totally my faves! They put the grand in grand opera! <laughs> Mail's here, brain! <laughs> Not quite done yet, Uncle Gadget. I'll say. Wowzers! My invitation to the annual policeman's ball. Watch this, Penny. I've been practicing my juggling act for the talent contest. I'm sure to be Chief Quimby's sword swallowing routine this year. Very nice, Uncle Gadget. Ah, the non refundable plane tickets for our vacation trip to Holland. I'm looking forward to learning to speak Hollandaise. Well? Ha! Ah, our passports and the original copies of our birth certificates. Just because the tourists stop coming to Metro City is no reason to leave. Penny, tourists stop coming to Metro City because there's nothing to see here, which is why we're going to Holland. Windmills, dikes, wooden pants. What more could you ask for? Front row tickets to the sold out Three Tons of Tenors concert? Say, what's this? A package from a Dr. W A L C. Dr. Walk? Right! <coughs> Dr. Walk. Rock, walk, rock, rock. Postmark Metro City Jail. Well, sounds harmless enough. <coughs> Wowzers! This is perfect for my juggling act. <coughs> The burgers are done. Dear citizens of Metro City, I am pleased to inform you that the dark days are over. Dr. Claw has finally been captured, and the good times are ready to roll again. Sincerely, your hard-working and underpaid mayor, Morty Markham. Ooh, contributions gratefully accepted. I love spam. Mayor Markham, terrible news. Huh? What? Where? Are the Martians attacking City Hall? No, sir. No self-respecting Martian would abduct you. Maybe not. But best to be protected from their mind control rays, Chief Quimby. But, sir, Dr. Claw has... Been captured, I know! I should really get a raise from restoring order to Metro City. But I can't afford it because the city is broke. Why? Because Metro City has no tourists. Sir, please. Dr. Claw... Great idea, Quimby! What attracts tourists to a town? Jaw-dropping, eye-filling spectacle, that's what. That's why Metro City is going to put Dr. Claw on display. Tourists will come all the way from Saturn to see him. Why not, Quimby? Because he's a scape mayor. I suppose I am making a scapegoat out of him, but he deserves it, darn it. I can see it now. 
Metro City's magnificent museum of crime with Dr. Claw as our centerpiece. But we can't center it around him unless... Did I hear the word can't, Quimby? That's the first syllable of cantaloupe. And you know how much I hate cantaloupe. <sighs> Mayor, listen to me. Dr. Claw has left the building. He has flown the coop. He has split the scene. Dr. Claw has broken out of jail. Claw got away? That's what I've been trying to tell you, sir. Well, why didn't you say so? Don't just stand there. Get the gadget on the case. And keep it top secret. We don't want the press getting a hold of this. Hello? That's funny. There's no dial tone. <laughs> right. Go, go, gadget cell phone. Hello? Psst, gadget. Over here. Who is this? You sound a lot like Chief Quimby. I am Chief Quimby. Take this. Oh, thanks, Chief. How'd you know I was thirsty? <laughs> Dr. Claw has escaped. Your assignment, track him down and capture him. Caution. This message will self-destruct. Consider it done, Chief. I'm on it like a Belgian on a waffle. Always flatten your aluminum cans before recycling. Go, go, gadget can flattener. Quick brain to the gadget mobile. Gadget! Now, where did I put that? Hey, hey, slow your roll, gadget. I know you ain't about to mess up the G-Mobile's paint job. Now, come on now, baby. I know it's here somewhere. So sorry to interrupt, man, but what the heck are you doing? I'm trying to see if... Now, that's just the problem. You ain't about seeing a thing. How you gonna drive if you can't see? <laughs> Listen to the dog. He's your best friend. Hold on a moment. Ah! There it is, my driving safety manual. If you don't know these rules, you shouldn't be behind the wheel. Come on, IG. Let me drive. You're going to pancake us all over the road. What are you talking about, Gadget Mobile? I have a spotless driving record. Are you kidding? The last time I saw Penny, she was taking your driving record for a walk because she thought it was a Dalmatian. Watch out! Whoa! Now that mailbox jumped out of nowhere. Must have gone poster, huh? Woo! Ah! I could have sworn there used to be a jail here. Oh. Oh, my neck. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't move me, please. I got whiplash. I can feel it. Get me a lawyer. Get me a doctor. Call my mama. Looney will take care of you back at the top secret gadget lab, Gadget Mobile. We'll meet you there after we examine the area for clues. Don't forget to send flowers! Oh, that hurts. Come on, Brain. Let's see if we can figure out how Claw escaped from jail. Aha! <laughs> 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 One of those gadgets for turning on the gas in your fireplace. Never know when you might need one. You're right, Brain. There's lots of light left in this candle. You don't want to be left in the dark when the power goes out. Look at this, Brain. An emergency evacuation plan. You see, if something happens at this end, you exit at the other end. Rah! Rah! My sentiments exactly. Rah, rah for those clever safety engineers. Rag! Rag! Yes, Brain. Regulations clearly state that all clues be brought back to the lab for analysis. Wowzers! This rock looks just like an egg. Oh. Oh, 
I got bumps on my bumpers and rocks on my tailpipe. Oh, I Oh. Hey, Looney, what you doing? Having a major setback. Ooh, raisins. Stop! That's saturated with my new miracle growth serum. Growth serum? Uh, it's not working right. It keeps shrinking things. Uh, this is actually a watermelon. Oh. Maybe you should try it on the mayor. Huh. I'm never gonna end world hunger at this rate. Yes, you will. Remember, you graduated from college when most people were in elementary school. You're a child prodigy, Looney. Former child prodigy is more like it. Uh, hey, Penny. Did I tell you I have tickets for the... I've captured Dr. Claw. He's disguised himself as a giant Easter egg. Oh. Looney, you don't mind if I use your lunch to practice my routine for the Policeman's Ball Talent Show, do you? Uh, no, sir. Inspector, I finished hooking up the egg to my X-ray scanning device. Come look. Rail, rail. You're right, Brain. Claw appears to have grown a tail. And a mouthful of sharp teeth. And wings. Wowzers. That disguise is more clever than I thought. Hmm. <gasps> Uncle Gadget, what we seem to have here is the egg of a prehistoric giant flying lizard. The largest flying reptile that ever existed. Species Iguana Giganto. Speak English, Penny. What's that? A pet iguana. Sneaky. They disguise themselves as your pet, then they turn on you. What an amazing discovery! The iguana giganto has been extinct for millions of years. And this is the first complete fossil of it ever to be found. It had powerful wings, razor-sharp claws, jaws strong enough to bite a bus in half. Uh, hey, Inspector, come look at this. <laughs> Claws trying to escape! Go, go, Gadget Lake! Halt! You're under arrest for egg poaching! Oh! Ah! <gasps> the Martians are attacking! Stop in the name of the law! Go, go, Gadget off! You're under arrest, Claw. What the? Oh, that's no Martian. Mayor, it's a prehistoric giant flying lizard egg. And it's alive. Prehistoric monster egg lands in Metro City Square. This will be Metro City's newest and greatest tourist event. The public hatching of the world's only known giant flying lizard. With the construction of a massive incubator to hatch this egg, the countdown to Hatch Fest can begin. And tell everyone in TV land there's a big gang of delinquent lizards on the loose. And they're wreaking havoc on the city. Please, if you have one of these pets, Turn it in before it turns on you. What if this thing gets loose? Souvenirs available at a reasonable price. This weekend, be there or beware. Very interesting. We must have that giant flying lizard, Mad Cat. It's just what we need. <laughs> a bomb here, okay? As in kaboom? Don't just call me up scaring the wits out of me. Oh, it's you, Claw. I have another job for you, Bomb Boy. Already? I just finished blasting you out of Metro City Jail. I'm behind in my orders. I just... Quiet! Bring me that giant egg from Metro City Square. Giant egg? What are you gonna do with that? Oh, wait. Of course. Take over the world, right? I need that egg before it hatches, Mama Boy. Steal it now! <laughs> 
This incubator is magnificent. Take a bow, Looney. You designed it. <laughs> uh, don't worry, it's made of high impact Zebulon, impervious to giant flying lizard jaws, and the large protuberant foreheads of former child prodigies. Looney, I'm impressed. The Wright brothers couldn't have done better. You mean Frank Lloyd Wright? Are you kidding? He was just a figurehead. Orville and Wilbur did all the work. Nice job, Looney. Uh, Penny, I know you're a big uh, Three Tons of Tenors fan, and I, I was so uh... upset, Looney. The concert sold out in two hours. I was busy helping Uncle Gadget on a stakeout. And the next thing I knew, the tickets were all gone. Bummer. No Figaro for me. Come along, Penny. We have some serious detecting to do. I think I found the Iguana Gang's secret hideout. <laughs> They're in there. I can see them plotting their next move. The rest of you stay here. If I'm not out in 30 seconds, call the police. Wait, I am the police. Well, you've got my number. Oh, Penny, listen. I've got a pair of... I've taken you in for question. Come back here, you stay. Uncle Gadget! They're pets! Good job. How did you get those city employees to work so fast? I paid them big bonuses out of the police department pension fund. <laughs> Mayor Markham? No! What were you thinking? You're right. I wasn't thinking. Was I crazy? Where was my brain? I don't know, sir. Neptune? Or Uranus, perhaps? If we bring a giant flying lizard to Metro City, what will it be? I've got it! Lizzie dogs! Get them while they're hot. Lizzie souvenirs. Get your very own CD of giant flying lizard mating calls. Take one home to the kitties. We accept cash and checks, jewelry, and indentured servitudinal arrangements. I love the smell of mystery meat in the morning, Quimby. You know what it smells like? It smells like money. Speaking of You're which, I am a bit concerned about you having spent the police department's entire pension on this, um, spectacle. Pish tush, man. We'll get it back 50-fold when all the out-of-town tourists show up and start buying up those busy dogs, giant flying lizard balloons, giant flying lizard mating call CDs, and guana with the bottom yogurt. <laughs> See what I mean? ka -ching. Have you seen a gang of hostile iguanas bent on mischief-making? Uncle Gadget, I've always wanted a pet iguana. Can I have one when you find them? Too much of a risk, Penny. Those iguana gang members are real cold-blooded hoodlums. Wowzers. Looks like Chief Quimby is working on his sword-swallowing routine for the talent contest. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna beat him, I'd better start practicing. That'll be 60 bucks. A bargain at any price. <laughs> this patch fest is gonna be a lot of fun, Penny. Too bad we'll be vacationing in sunny Holland. You haven't seen the plane tickets, have you? Hey, that's the Clawmobile. There's something fishy going on here, Uncle Gadget. You're right, Penny. Although I think it's reptile, not fish. Excuse me, Sonny. <laughs> So, this parade snack contains 1.6% real meat. That's more than federal regulations permit. I believe in quality, so sue me. That man stole my Lizzie dog. <laughs> <gasps> Uncle Gadget, it's a robbery. Don't listen to the boy, Penny. Selling substandard snack food is a simple misdemeanor. <laughs> Strangling an officer of the law, however. Ooh. Lawn bowling, anyone? Hey, you. You're under arrest for appearing in public without a head. Huh. That's better. Wowzers! Brain, fetch head.
Take the egg to the secret hideout. Uh, the thing is, uh, the hideout's full of all those international dignitaries we kidnapped last week. Then take the egg to your house! Uh, problem. See, there's limited guest parking, and I was planning this big end of house party. The barristers come in and send a robot. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll figure it out. Are my ears still ringing, or is that my cell phone? Hello? Hello? <laughs> right. Go, go, gadget cell phone! Hello? Over here. You're under arrest for selling substandard snack food. That was him, Gadget. <laughs> Chief, I didn't recognize you. Excuse me while I go arrest that snack food vendor. Gadget, stop! I have something more important to tell you. You're dropping out of the talent contest, Chief? Take this. The giant flying lizard egg has been stolen. We need it back in time for the hatch fest. Caution. This message will self-destruct. I'll get right on it, sir. Uh, say, Chief, how about some relish and mustard for my Lizzie dog? And make it snappy, I'm on assignment. Call it the Yokometer. It's tuned to the highly distinctive molecular signature of eggs. Ingenious. The smell of cholesterol activates it. It goes up your nose and docks with your olfactory hardware. Couldn't I just carry it under my arm? Ow! <laughs> It may take a while to settle into place. <laughs> okay, Brain. It's time to put Looney Perkle's latest invention to work. Go, go, Gadget Yokometer! <laughs> I'm getting a red alert on that breakfast place. Come on, Brain. Attention, thieves and ne'er-do-wells. Thanks to my gadget Yokometer, every single person in here is under arrest. No time to be sitting down on the job, Brain. We have criminals to catch. Brain. Now, where's that egg? That way? Well, don't just stand there. Go fetch! Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Wows. Yes. Yes. Just as I suspected. What? What? Iguana tracks everywhere. Oh, and the egg's been stolen. Where were you and Brain at 11.07 a.m.? With you, Uncle Gadget. Ah, yes. Well, let's examine the clues. I suspect it was an inside job. Clue number one. There's a business card at the crime scene with the logo of a bomb and the slogan, Bomb a Boy, for all your criminal demolition need. Clue number two. Just before the egg vanished, I spotted a suspicious individual lurking in the vicinity. And clue number three. Surveillance video of two men in black loading the egg into what appears to be the Clawmobile. I think we need look no further. This is obviously the work of that most wily of ne'er-do-wells. Yes? Yes? yes. yes. Mayor Markham. <laughs> Amazing, Uncle Gadget. 
An untrained investigator would have immediately suspected Dr. Claw. That's just the kind of mistake an amateur would make, Penny. Let's see, carpetbaggers, clock cleaners, crab fishermen. Ah, here we are, criminal consultants. Mayor Morty Markham, specializing in white collar crime prevention. I told you he was a criminal. Mayor, this is Inspector Gadget ordering you to turn over that egg. You've reached the Markham for Mayor campaign fund. We're not here now to take your call, but please leave a credit card number. And if you have our prehistoric giant flying lizard egg, please don't break it, as we are in the process of putting together a generous ransom. Aha! He practically admitted he has the egg, and he's already making ransom demands. But... Uncle Gadget! No time for that now, Penny. You and Brain stay here and suck. Aww. I'll go to the mayor's house and arrest him for eggnapping. Go, go, Gadget Mobile! <laughs> Gadget. Everybody knows Mayor Markham's got more problems than an algebra book, but that doesn't mean the man stole the missing egg. Come on now, man, think. He's a criminal, remember? It said so in the yellow pages. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, okay. Look, you think you can find some common sense in that book and buy yourself some? And by the way, we're on the wrong block, Gadget. You live here, remember? Nonsense. I've never been here before in my life. Operator, I'd like a street address for Mayor Morty Markham, please. Dead? How could it be dead? I had my elbow in the charger all night. Well, we'll just have to ask the first citizen we see if we can use his or her phone for urgent police business. Try that house up there, the one with a clawmobile parked in front. So we're Cinderella, late to the ball again? <laughs> you didn't hear? He left one of his glass slippers at the bank, and the next thing he knew, the cops were going door to door with his shoe. Size 13 and a half. That's hard to miss. Speaking of hard to miss, it's Inspector Gadget. How on earth did he find us? Maybe he's smarter than he looks. Well, he'd have to be. Hold on a minute, hold on. I knew I recognized that big show off. That's not just any old Clawmobile. That's Dr. Claw's car. Yes, I know it's double parked. Forget it. We're not on traffic detail anymore, Gadgetmobile. I'll be right back. And no ogling Jaguar brochures while I'm gone. Oh, that cover girl's something else. How many cylinders you think she got, huh? Once the Jeepmobile gets. Hey, a little help turning off my headlights. Last time I checked. I didn't have opposable thumbs. Good day, fine citizens. I'm Inspector Gadget. I'm sorry to disturb your party, but uh, I'm on important police business, and I was wondering if I could trouble you to use your... Oh! <laughs> oh, are you taking me to use your phone now? Well, how nice of you to bring me a chair. Your mothers must be very proud of you. Whoa! Oh, look, it's a piñata. Now, why does that seem so familiar? Oh, goody, I get to be first. Go, go, Gadget Piñata back. <laughs> Thank you, happy revelers, for honoring me by letting me take the first swing at the festive <gasps> piñata. Report, Bomber Boy. Not only is the egg here and perfectly safe, but I've just captured Inspector Gadget. <sighs> Deliver him and the egg immediately. Ollie, ollie, action free. Here I come. Please, no hints. I'll find it. <laughs> Bomber boy. Oh, yeah, I'm on my way, Dr. Claw. Over and out. What 
am I doing wrong? Citizens, Metro City needs your contributions. We're awaiting a ransom demand for our prehistoric giant flying lizard egg. All that we need to assure a successful hatch fest is your cash. <coughs> Other valuables if you have no cash available, uh, jewelry, uh, gold fillings, <gasps> maybe a pair of tickets to the sold out three tons of tenors concert. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Whatever you have, I appeal to you. Turn in those valuables, save our most important festival, and bring tourism back to Metro City. Uh, I'm sorry, Pen. Uh, oh, hi, Penny. Any word from Uncle Gadget? No, oh, I'm not. <laughs> Let's see if the Gadgetmobile's audio monitor is on. Excuse me, miss. Can I trouble you for a jump? I got the cables. If you got the battery. Uh, that was just rude. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Could I, uh... Why isn't Uncle Gadget in the car? He's in trouble. Brain, we've got to save him. Coming, Looney? I, I wish I could, but... There's something I have to do first. <laughs> Aha! I found it! Ole! Ole! Let's get out of here! Blindfold now? It sounds like the magician is arriving with an escort. <gasps> you did it! I did? Wowzers! I got the pinata! Hey, who ate all the candy? <laughs> Sorry, Penny. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Citizen, our town owes you a great debt. Many years from now, you can look back and recall this moment with pride. Alone, of course, since the girl of your dreams will never forgive you for giving away these priceless three tons of tenors tickets. <laughs> Sorry, Penny. It's for a good cause. Hold everything. Inspector Gadget has saved the day. Thanks for turning my headlights on, Penny. Uncle Gadget, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Citizens, good news! The, the crisis, crisis is averted. Is <laughs> the day is safe. You can start spending your hard earned dollars again. <laughs> Excuse me, Mayor, but I need to ask you a few questions. The topic is grand larceny. Go, uh, uh, of course, Inspector. Now, about this egg napping. Uh, Penny. Remember we were talking about the, the three tons of tenors the other day? Well, guess what? Oh, Looney, aren't they just too cool? Such great voices. I'd give anything to see them when they come to town, but... Trying to eat me! Is that a 
Madonna Giganto eats metal? Wowzers! This giant flying lizard must want to see my juggling act. larger every time it eats something. Wowzers, you're good. Say, how'd you like to be part of my routine for the Policeman's Ball Talent Contest? Yeah! Hand me one of them mate and call CDs, will you, Vendor? <sighs> Wish I knew how to drive. How come villains always have the best cars? Because crime pays, kid. Show. We'll knock him dead! Wait! Who's your agent? What? That overgrown snot monster has an agent and I don't? Inspector. Now there's a mystery you should be investigating. Bomber boy, report. Your boss, I'm halfway to the castle with a giant flying lizard for ya. Wonderful. Thus, my plan for world domination begins, and little Lizzie will make a nice pet. <laughs> Whoa! Get this gadget right behind me! Good! I will prepare my welcome. <laughs> with an enormous airborne reptile would assure my victory in the talent contest. I hope Lizzie's agent won't be too difficult. Hmm. I know this isn't the best time, Penny, but uh, I was wondering if you would, would you go with me to- Claw's castle to rescue Uncle Gadget? You bet, Looney. <laughs> Myself. Good thinking, Gadget Mobile. Mm -hmm. Faster, Looney. <gasps> I mean, stop, Looney. I think the road's out. Then it's all up to you, Brain. Won't come off my tires. Oh! Tell me when the world stops turning. Oh, mommy, please. Oh, mommy, daddy, somebody. Oh, oh, 
Oh, no! The brakes don't work! Where's the emergency brake? Next to the seat! Roll side, Inspector! Oh, now, ain't that a surprise? What is it? A lizard control device. Once inside our scaly friend's stomach, I will force it to do my bidding. I like that. But maybe it should have a self-destruct mechanism. Just in case. Know what I mean, boss? Good idea. Do it. with something large and metallic. <laughs> Inspector Gadget, how nice of you to drop in. You're just the snack, I mean, man I wanted to see. Please stand by while I perform the necessary repair. <laughs> Get down to business. I'm appearing in the talent show at the policeman's ball, and I need to book Lizzie for my juggling act. Dr. Claw? You're Lizzie's agent? Don't tell me you've given up your life of crime for show business. Well, I hope you can still book Lizzie for me from your new office at the Metro City Jail. Once it's rebuilt, of course. As usual, Inspector Gadget, you are sadly mistaken. Observe my evil plans for world domination. First, I will turn your little friend loose on Metro City, and then the world! All will tremble before my mighty lizard. Maybe you'll be going along, too, in the belly of the beast. No world tour until Lizzie performs with me at the policeman's ball. Get off of me, you overgrown iguana! <laughs> Wowzers! My giant flying lizard! No! Get it back! Bomber boy, lab the device on Gadget now! So, you want to win a juggling contest, eh, pal? Then you'll need a new Juggletron 2000. Here, attach it to your back and patch it into your power supply. It's guaranteed to help you juggle like a real pro. Wowzers. Thanks, friend. Once that meddling detector disappears down Lizzie's gullet, along with my giant flying lizard control device, I will have myself a giant city-destroying slave. 
<laughs> Henchmen, report to the lair. You two take Gadget and tie him to the spire on top of the turret. I have a new job description for the inspector. Snack food. <laughs> Quiet, Mad Cat! You'd think there was a dog loose in here. Wowzers! A magician! You really have a lot of performers in your talent agency, Claw. Maybe you can teach me a few magic tricks I can work into my juggling routine. You're gonna teach me an escape routine as well. I just love escape acts. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Hey! <laughs> Brain, how did you get here? And where did that magician go? Boy, what a great vanishing act. <laughs> There you are, Lizzie. It's time to rehearse our juggling act for the policeman's ball. Go, go, gadget keys. Yowzers! Eat him. Eat gadget. It's attacking Uncle Gadget! Do something, Looney! What are we gonna do? Arrest it? Gadget, you scaly imbecile! Good news, Looney. You saved Uncle Gadget. The bad news is, we're next! Rock! Rock! Rump! Rump! Are you casting aspersions on my posterior region's brain? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! Wow! Wow! Go, go, gadget suit! Wow! Wow! Wow, sirs! Ah, there's my key ring. <laughs> Right, right, right. Go, go, Gadget cell phone. Uncle Gadget, it's Penny. Looney and I have been carjacked by the giant flying lizard. Rory, Rory. Quiet, Brain. I'm trying to talk to Penny and Looney. Now, don't worry, Penny. Lizzie is just juggling your car. Wowzers! I've got to figure out a way to work that into our act. I'll be right there. Going my way? Great timing, Gadget Mobile. That all slick was better than a lose job. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Follow that giant flying lizard. That won't be necessary. But I have to prepare my act for the policeman's ball talent show. That's why we have to catch up with Lizzie. I think he wants to be a solo act. Huh? Look behind you. Wowzers!
You ain't making me into the main course. Try this for an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Suggestion. Oh, why can't the lizard catch them? It's just Gadget Mobile. Get them! Get them! Oh, this is not good. Think. What would you do, Inspector? I'll do the opposite. Go, go, Gadget Mobile! Hop, Willie! Go, go, Gadget Mobile! Flamethrower! Where is our prehistoric giant flying lizard? I thought Gadget would have it back by now. Patience, patience. Rome wasn't destroyed in a day, you know. Oh. Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a Martian! Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Penny, uh, this may be my last chance to ask you to go to the concert. Looney, we're the whiz kids here. Help me figure out how to stop this thing. Fruit, fruit, shrunken fruit, half a sandwich, and this useless growth serum. Looney, you're a genius! I am? Your growth serum does the exact opposite of what it's supposed to, right? Right. Like I said, the experiment was a complete failure. Exactly. So why not give the serum to the giant flying lizard and shrink it down so it's not a threat anymore? Wow, what a great idea. Are you sure you're not the child prodigy? Go give that big Liz a shot in its overgrown butt! Penny, uh, before I embark on what may be my last mission, would you like to- Hurry, Looney, hurry! Hey, hey, hey! You can't catch the G-Mobile, crazy snot monster! There goes my free HBO. <laughs> Lizzie, you don't want to be represented by Dr. Claw. He's a crook. Why don't you fire him and come perform with me in the talent contest? What are you playing at, IG? Wowzers. I've never seen anyone so eager to juggle before. Great, Lizzie! You're juggling me! I have a feeling this is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you! No, oh, no! Oh! 
City Square and bring back my lizard. <laughs> I did it all for you, Penny. Looney, how many times have I told you never to go skydiving without a parachute? Mobile, and then you stop, 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 give it up. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Keep those cameras rolling. This will make the national news. We're on the map, Whippy. Thank you, Gadgetmobile. You are my hero. A hero ain't nothing but a sandwich. Some cars are just built special, Penny. Wowzers! Who needs a vacation with rides like this, eh, Penny? Gadget, you and Metro City will pay for interfering with my evil plan. Bomber Boy's self-destruct bomb will blow you all to smithereens! What's that thing on your back, Gadget? Are you a spy for the Martians? Are you referring to my Juggletron 2000, Mayor? I'm sure to be Chief Quimby now. Ah, Bomber Boy, it's not working! Don't get your claw in an uproar. There must be a wire loose. Then fix it! Watch out behind you, Gadget! He's got a ray gun! Hold it, Mayor. That's my friend, the juggling consultant. Yes, and I see your Juggletron 2000 needs adjusting. Let me... <laughs> Excuse me, folks, I have to see a man about Niguana. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Bomber Boy. Good work, Gadget. You've just captured number two on Metro City's most wanted list. Guess crime doesn't pay so well after all. Huh, Mr. Big Bad Tough Guy Criminal? Get away! Gadget's got a bomb! Nonsense. I don't have to bomb ever again. I have the Juggletron 2000. See? <laughs> You're all under arrest for disturbing the peace. Go, go, Gadget Perp Scooper. What a grand finale! I'm Mayor Morty Markham. Thank you, citizens of Metro City and cash-carrying tourists. I'd like to introduce the world's finest bionic detective, Inspector Gadget, to kick off the intergalactic premiere of Metro City's newest attraction. Good morning. Good morning. 
You're all under arrest for unlawful assembly. You have the right to remain silent. Sorry, false alarm. Please give a hand or hands to our real guest of honor, the world's largest pygmy giant flying lizard. <laughs> Penny, there's something important I've been trying to ask you. Oh, how darling! I mean, Lizzie, not you, Looney. What did you want? Penny, would you? <laughs> Never mind. <gasps> oh, Looney! You got tickets to the Three Tons of Tenors concert! Oh, of course I'll go with you! You will? <sighs> Say, Chief, how'd you like to come over for a dip sometime? Now that I've gotten a raise, I've put in a brand new swimming pool, fully lined with aluminum foil to keep the Martians out. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. Can I bring my pet piranhas? Can I interest you in a juggling exhibition? Don't encourage him, please. You know Gadget Mobile, Claw Mobile is pretty cool, but you're the best. Oh, Timmy. You didn't have to say that, but keep going. Huh? That'll be 20 bucks, kid. Okay, Lizzie, do your thing. Show them your new trick, Lizzie. You're all under arrest. Oh, well, it's a celebration. Live and let live, I say. Except for Dr. Claw, that is. Wherever that dastardly double-crossing talent agent may be, I say to him, your crime will come. I'll get you yet, Gadget. Next time.
Gadget. Inspector. Gadget. Yeah!